And the uh, stories and pictures coming in from Haiti are heartbreaking. I don't have to tell you that. You can see them. But a North Carolina man named Sam Dixon was actually pulled from the rubble of the Hotel Montana late Thursday evening. But sadly, his family was told this morning that he had passed away. And Sam's daughter, Christy, now joins me by phone. Christy, first let me express our condolences to your family and say thank you for joining us under these circumstances. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, tell us a little bit first about your father and why he was in Haiti. Um, my father um, worked for a program called UMCOR, which is United Methodist Committee on Relief. And he was there um, overseeing some um, programs to expand the health care um, for Haiti. Um, there were a few other men with him that day. Um, I think I think they were going to have a bite to eat um, at the Hotel Montana. Um, I, the what from the information we received, um, they were dropped off minutes before the earthquake, um, so they were still on the the ground floor level. Um, we had gotten some word that you know they had located him, which was good news to us, um, and, and then. The time frame in which we were receiving news was, you know, several, several, several hours in between updates, and it was um, very confusing and very hard to wait to hear um, anything, any news at all. Um, we watched the news, um, you know, all night. We were on the Internet just, just trying to find ways to communicate or find out any information. Um, and, and today, unfortunately, we, we received news that we, we didn't want to hear. Um, he was with um, a man named Clint who they were able to, to get out of the building, and he was right beside him mm -hmm. um, during, during all the, the days that they had to wait um, to get out. Right. Um, we had uh, heard that... Um, they were telling each other stories and, and trying to console each other and, and praying together. And, uh, he, um, his, um, the organization UMCOR is, a, is something that we all really believe in. And um, mm -hmm. they, they work for humanitarian relief. Um, for any any natural disasters or human human made disasters, so he he was doing what he loved, and and that's and what's we're very important. proud of him for that. And I know you're a very proud daughter of your father. I was reading just some of the information about uh, your dad, and uh, by all accounts, everything we've been told, he's an incredible person. And as you said, he was there doing something that he loved for people who were in desperate need. And Christy, again, we are greatly sorry for the loss of your father. And during this time, we are so appreciative that you found a Thank moment you. for us to tell the world about your father, who obviously was a wonderful man. Thank you. Thank you.